The first presidential debate is due to happen next Thursday, and we do have a date and time, so therefore there is a valid chart to work with. I will definitely be addressing that in a separate video, and the main reason I'm waiting a bit more before doing so is that I want to make sure the orange scoundrel doesn't chicken out, which we have to admit is still a possibility. That said, I think it is very unlikely he will back out because it would leave him far too exposed to being called a coward. In the meantime, I will talk about a planet cycle importantly affecting the failing ex-president. In previous videos, which you can find in the Trump 2024 playlist, I talked about the cycles of Eris, the Black Moon, and the transiting lunar nodes, and I explained that none of those three were in any way helpful to him, either toward winning the election or, for that matter, to safeguard his health or his sanity. Eris in particular is a major threat, and I believe all by itself ensures his loss in November, assuming something doesn't stop him completely before that. In this video, I'll talk about a planet that on its own is seldom enough to signify something big enough to completely alter an outcome. But when part of a string of other likewise negative planet cycles, it can certainly contribute. And all the more so when you consider that at his birth, in his chart, it was making a station, just like Neptune and Jupiter, with all three of these being in Libra in his third sign. If a planet is stationary at birth, then you can safely assume the cycles of that planet are always going to be more meaningful. Separately, the presence of a badly afflicted and stationary Neptune together with a partly strong, partly afflicted Jupiter conjunct Chiron in the third sign, serves to explain a whole lot about Trump. The third is where you communicate, so this is why this guy lives by the message and for the message. It's never about substance, rather he just says and says and says, even though 99.9% .9 of it is lies and falsehoods. Also, in any chart, this is the place of names, naming, licenses and records. Most of his money has come from licensing, selling, leveraging his name, and as for records, well, here's where we see that he won an election by accusing his opponent of malfeasance around records, you know, Hillary's emails and all that, only to then do something he pretty much always does, turn around and do much worse in the very same area. Hence, taking classified records home, including nuclear secrets and all the rest. All of this is third house astrology, and Chiron happens to be implicated by virtue of being located there at birth. I could go on a tangent here, attempting to decipher what Chiron and its wound might be, since this is what this planet is famous for in the astrological lexicon. Being next to Jupiter, it seems pretty obvious that whatever is hurting in there, he counterpoints by hyperbole, exaggeration in his communication, and basically accruing as much money and power as possible, since that is what Jupiter tends to do in societies that are primarily materialistic. But I think more to the point is to notice that transiting Chiron is currently in Aries, and as luck would have it, will be stationed near the end of July in Aries degrees, 23 plus, that are very uncomfortable because there's a direct square to his Saturn-Venus 12th sign conjunction, especially to the Saturn translation. Yet another planet that ensures pressures that are due to manifest quite soon as we move toward the end of this month and into mid-July. These pressures are then picked up by the Eris station in the third week of July and the Chiron station around July 25th. In other words, a hellish landscape. And my best guess is that a lot of this is surely going to be related to the legal realm because Chiron and Eris too, of course, are squaring from the ninth of the law to the 12th, which is where Saturn and Venus are, and which is essentially the place where he did the crimes. And if you look later in the year, as we go toward the election period, the Chiron cycle doesn't become any better, since for one thing, once it reaches a degree, it's affecting that degree until it finishes with it, which does not happen until the spring of 2026. And right at election time, where it'll be in the 20 plus degree Aries region, it is in no way helpful to him. Bottom line, little Chiron is another planet in the parade of destruction, this most 
despicable individual is forced to endure during 2024, most intensely now in the summer, but also at election time, and in both cases, to very bad effect. What can I say? Couldn't happen to a nicer guy.